Hey guys, my name is Ashley Monet and I have a message that the Lord gave me to share with you all. And this message is actually from a dream I had. Um, the dream was a few days ago and God gave me the revelation at the gym actually. So we'll go into the dream and I'll get into the details after that about what God was saying to me to give to you all. So in the dream, I was in school. I was um, actually in PE class and I don't know all of the details behind why I was in school, why I was in PE class. I believe it's because there was a lesson to learn here, right? But why PE class, I'm not quite sure. Um, but in the dream, I saw this guy that I went to school with and I wasn't really friends with him in real life, but I went to school with him in middle school and I went to school with him in high school. Um, again, we weren't close in real life, but it seems that we were in the dream. So I walk up to him in the dream and I'm just, I give him like a little hug, a little one arm hug. I say, hey, what's up, you know? And um, I have something in my hand as I'm hugging him. So I give him a hug and he pulls me to the side like mid hug. And he tells me, um, don't hug me with one arm, hug me with two. And so I was just like, oh, okay, let me give you this two-arm hug while I still have this thing in my hand. And that's where the dream fades. And the thing that really stood out to me in this dream, again, was I don't, I'm not close to this guy. I'm almost 15 years removed from high school. So there's no reason that I could see that I would dream about him. So I kind of just, I found it odd that I had this dream. Um, I had multiple dreams that night, but this one really stood out because of the person that was in my dream that I wasn't really close to. And I kind of just left the dream alone and just kept moving. And so a few days later, you know, I'm at the gym, I'm working out, and I can hear the Lord say, what is in your hand that is keeping you from being close to me? It's keeping you, it's, it's creating a distance in between us. And so I knew as he was speaking that he was giving this as a message to give. And he showed me that this is where I'm supposed to give it. So for whoever it's for, God is asking, what is in your hand that is keeping you from getting close to me? So as I begin to realize that this was, this guy was representing God, it, it made more sense. A lot of the details made more sense. And I began to notice things that I didn't really, you know, even pay attention to before. And so one of the things I noticed was that this thing in my hand, it was in front of me and it was in front of God and it was, it was between us. And so during this hug, I'm holding on to this thing, but it's in between us. Right. And so, um, I also noticed that when I do fully give him a hug, right, um, I'm still holding on to this thing, but now it's no longer in front of me. It's no longer in front of him. It's not in between us, but it's behind him. Okay. And so another thing that I'm noticing now that I know this is God is that um, I didn't even realize that I had anything in my hand or that I wasn't giving him a full hug until he pulled me to the side. And so when he pulled me to the side, then I realized that, okay, there was something in my hand and there is something kind of, you know, in between us that I'm holding on to. But until he says this, or until I realize this is God um, and that God is, is representing this, or this guy is representing God in my dream, I'm really starting to see, okay, God is pulling me to the side to tell me there's something in between us that's keeping this closeness from happening. And so, again, I'm looking at my notes. Um, I'm looking at my notes to keep me on track. But another thing that I saw was that I didn't ever fully plan on embracing him. And when he pulled me to the side... And I was looking back at the, basically the vision of my dream or the details of my dream. I'm realizing he's fully embracing me and I wasn't really ever fully planning on it, 
embracing him. It was kind of going to be a high and by, you know, quick moment for me. Um, what else did I see? Embracing him. Yeah, so I was, I was really going to basically keep it moving. And before um, I give the meaning, I'm sure that some of you all, now that it's recognized that this guy is representing God, some of you all are starting to hear the message or what this dream means. And I want you all to write it, write what God is giving you about this dream in the comments. Um, just allow God to reveal to you personally before I break down the meaning. What is this dream saying? What is it? Wh what is God speaking to you? Even if you need to pause me for a minute, pause me and just kind of listen in to see what God is saying to you about this dream. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to assume you paused me and we're going to keep it moving. So the initial question, as I'm hearing God speak to me about this dream, was what is in your hand that is keeping you and me from, our, from what's, what's creating a distance? What is keeping me and you apart? You're giving me this half embrace, but I'm not getting um, this other arm. What is keeping, the, what am I holding on to that's keeping this distance? And so the message that God is that God began to reveal to me is that whatever is in our hand is in our control. And I was holding on to it was actually a paper bag that I was holding on to. And this could have many meanings for many different people. And I think that's why it was so vague. I don't even know what was inside of it. Because it can have many meanings for different people about what this thing that has been held on to is representing. Um but it was in my left hand and I had it before me and it was in front of me and it was in front of God and it was between he and I. So what, what's in your hand that's keeping you from being fully close to God? Whatever it is, it, it's become first place um, for you and it's holding God's place in your life. Um, He's, it's holding God's place in your life and in your heart. And he in the dream, he didn't ask me for a closer hug. He told me, he didn't ask. He told me, um, put your other arm, don't, don't keep that arm in, in between us. Put your other arm around me to create this closeness. He was, it was basically a command almost like he's telling me what I need to do because whatever this is, it's creating a distance. Um, essentially, don't allow anything between us. He wants all of you. He wants all of us. And so that's what um, the message is for that part. The second thing that he began to um, share was that I, I wouldn't have ever known that that closeness wasn't there until he pulled me to the side. I needed for him to tell me what I didn't um, even realize on my own, that there was a distance there. I didn't even plan on staying or stopping. And he had to point out to me that I'm giving you a full embrace here and you're giving me a little half arm, half, you know, thing going on. I don't want that. And so I, I didn't realize that I was even doing what I was doing until he brought it to my attention. There's some things we don't know until he reveals. I didn't notice um, even that he was giving me all of him and I was given half of me. Um, and he was a loving on me and he wants to love on you. And he has been loving on you. And there's things that you don't even notice that he's been doing and he's wanting to pull you to the side and share what he's wanting and has been wanting and has been trying to speak to you. But because you've got this thing in your hand that's blocking the full closeness that he desires, you can't fully see it. And so he's wanting this to be moved, right? 
And so again, um, here's another thing that God was sharing after he shared that I didn't even, I wasn't even aware. Um, he shared that and he helped me to see, I never let go what was in my hand, but I put it behind him. Right. And so, um, this can mean different things for different people about what God is telling you to do. But because it was behind him, it was under his submission, right? And so he was first place and whatever was behind him, what he, he was able to have control over what I had control over because it was no longer so close to my heart and so close to me. He was, he is first and I put him first in the dream and it was now behind him. It was now in its proper order. And God could speak to what I'm doing with this thing in my hand because it's under his authority now, right? It's under his control. And when he's first, he has that authority. You're giving him that authority. And he gets a say about what is going on in your hand, what's going on in your life, you know, what's uh, close to your heart, um, what's under your control or in your care. He gets that, that say so, because now we're allowing him to be Lord. We're allowing him to get the fullness of who we are as we're getting the fullness of who he is, right? And so the scriptures that he gave me were Matthew 22, 36, 38. Um, and it says that, it says, teacher, Matthew 22, 36 says, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And that's Matthew 22, 36 through 38. The next scripture is James 4, 8. And it says, come close to God and God will come close to you. And as I read this, I already knew that because of my dream, God was saying something a little bit more than if you take the first step, then I'll take the second. I knew from the dream that God was saying more than this. And so I looked up, um, what does this mean for God to come close to me after I come close to him? And so it gives me the definition um, of this closeness or this nearness. And it's a Greek word. It's um, igizu, igizo. I'm going to put it up here so that you know how it's spelled just in case I'm saying it wrong. But Igizo, and it is a perfect tense, um, it's in the perfect tense of the word near, right? And so this actually means not that I'm going to come close to you. It means that it's already happened and it's continuing to happen. And so to come close to God, for he has already come close to you, this nearness is described as a extreme closeness or an immediate immense presence um that this presence is here and it's happening and it's already happened and so that closeness that god is desiring that he showed me in the dream was that um he's wanting us to come close to him and whoever this is for to come close to him because he's already come close to you He's already come near to you. He's already embracing you. And so, clo so the closeness has already occurred. But until you come close, you won't recognize it. And so James 4, 8, it continues and it says, cleanse your hands. It says, cleanse your hands. And so it goes into um, what's in your hand again. Cleanse your hands. It says, you sinners. And we know that the, um, to be a sinner means to miss the mark um, or to sin means to miss the mark of what God intended, which we all have done. God is just desiring that we not live there. 
we not live in this place of continually missing what God intended or how God intended for things to be. And so he said, cleanse your, cleanse your hands, you sinners. We all have sinned, but God doesn't want you to stay there, right? And so cleanse your hands. And then it says, purify your heart. And so this thing, it was close to my heart. It was in my hand. It says to purify your hearts for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. That loyalty, I have that one hand, but I have this other thing in my left hand close to my heart. And so I had this, you know, I had this um, enough awareness to know that, hey, I'm going to walk up to God and give him the hey hey what's up kind of hug but it wasn't a full committed hug and he was fully committed to me and I wasn't fully committed to him and I didn't know that and so for whoever this is for God is saying cleanse your hands from what is getting in the way of you and him he has already drawn close to you and he wants you to know just how close that closeness is that remember it said it ex it described this nearness as an extreme extreme closeness it, it, it's he wants to go deeper with you in your relationship with him he no longer wants the surface um associate he wants that full loyalty to him because he is fully loyal to you in the dream, I came kind of close, but he wanted two hands. <laughs> he wanted all of me and he wants all of you. Just know that Jesus loves you. And as you come close, you'll come to see just how near he's been all along. So I pray that whoever, whoever this is for, that you hear it and that you take the time like I had to do or like he pulled me to the side in my dream to hear God's heart for you and to hear what's in the way of you really experiencing the fullness of him and him getting the fullness of you. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, have a blessed day. Bye. Okay, you guys. So look how fast this confirmation worked. Um, not too long after recording this video, I turned on some music and the first song that came on was Close to You by BB and CC Winans. I definitely recommend you all listen to this song. It's completely appropriate and it completely goes with what God is saying here. Okay, you all for real this time. Talk to you later. Bye.